everyone, Ace here, and I am starting a new Let's Play. This time it is a game called Beyond Pearl Harbor Pacific Warriors. So what is this game, you ask? Well, it came out in the US in 2001. In 2000, it got released in Europe, but over there it's just known simply as Pacific Warriors. Um, when this game came out in the US, though, it was one of several, actually, to come out around the time of Michael Bay's disaster piece that was Pearl Harbor. And as a result, a lot of games were, of course, made to try to cash in on the Pearl Harbor name since they can't trademark it because it's based off of an actual historical event. So there was a number of games, of course, uh, that decided to use this, and this is one of them. Now, nobody has ever done a full Let's Play of this game before. Uh, bizarrely, it's considered the most famous of the Pearl Harbor 2001 games, but, like I said, nobody's done a full Let's Play of it before. Um, the company that did this uh, is known for doing, well, some people say this is their most famous game. I would argue that their most famous game is the search and rescue games that they made as well, which were helicopter flight sims, basically where you, of course, picked up and rescued people. Uh, they didn't make the first one, but they did make uh, the sequels. So that is what they're known for aside from this, I would say. So let's get started, shall we? Theme one. By the way, this is going to be the most arcadey game you will ever find. And uh, the way I'm gonna do this Let's Play is I'm going to do it based on these themes here, which there's five levels plus a boss fight for each theme. So let's get to it, shall we? Okay. Let's indeed. Now, when I said arcadey, um, you guys are just going to have your jaws drop at how arcadey this is. It's still a pretty decent game in most parts, although the AI is breathtakingly stupid, as you just witnessed by one of these planes crashing itself into the uh, scenery there. And the pilot that we are controlling here uh, is, well, he'll, will utter stuff constantly. Okay, so we just took out that. Good. Alright, let's take these guys out then, shall we? Now, they will like to kamikaze you a fair bit, so you do have to be very careful. One touch I do like is that once they've lost enough health, they will slowly, uh, crash, which you just witnessed there. Um, when I said the AI was simplistic, they only seem to want to maneuver to the right for some bizarre reason. Now, this was of course a budget game in the early 2000s, and the stupid AI is a pretty notable fault, but is it enough to kill the game on its own? I'm not entirely sure of that, because the game does have some... Well, it is, it's more fun to play than it should be, is the best way I, for me to describe it. So we've just picked up a machine gun upgrade. Okay, that's unfortunate. That guy's taken out. Whoa! That was too close. Ooh. But he crashed, and looks like we can pick up health from this. Now, it, when you get more than 100 health, um, the game will slowly uh, take away the health until you're down 200. I think, uh, if I remember correctly, Quake 3 did that also. Okay, so let's pick up some rockets here. Uh, good, we picked up more rockets. You can carry rockets, torpedoes, bombs, and cluster missiles. Um, if that sounds a little bit ridiculous for a World War II game, well, it is, but it's hardly anything for this game. Trust me on that. Okay. So this guy has a little bit more health than normal because he is a bomber. We got him, though. Uh, he's gonna crash. Good. We got him. Okay, so let's see if we can take out this. Fire two rockets. And let's see, what's left to go? Ooh, that has to go. Okay. The mission, of course, does give you your little re uh, marker uh, or the little arrow on top, which is pretty helpful. 
Your bottom left is your health, uh, your bottom right is your main weapon, your secondary weapon, and your special weapon, and your top right is your score. Okay, so we were two seconds shy of par time. Well, that's okay. Par time's actually tough to get in this game. Now, we can destroy more of the scenery to unlock more stuff, uh, which is useful. More weapons and all that. So we'll pick up some torpedoes. Good, we got torpedoes now. We'll just drop them on these unsuspecting uh, cruisers here. And what did we get? We got health, good. What else do we get? More rockets, good. And anything else? Um, well, you're pretty much guaranteed to get at least one upgrade or special power up or health. Ah, Crazy Jacks. Okay, so prepare yourself for some more crazy, for some of the more wacky stuff that this game has to offer. The whole point of these things is that they are deliberately inaccurate so that if you have bad aim, well, or if you miss on your lead, they'll every now and then hit something. It's a very bizarre weapon to have, but they do work. Okay, so let's take out two enemy stations over here, and let's see what's available for us. Just see if I can't take this guy out. He's already low on health, good. And This game, by the way, got rated E for everyone, which is bizarre when you think about it, because games that came out in this era, like, well... Star Wars Rogue Squadron and Battle for Naboo both got rated T-15, even though they're basically the same genre. Uh, a lot of other games got rated T-14. So why this thing got rated E for everyone is a big mystery to me. Okay, let's, take, uh, let's take this guy out. Alright, so we got that, we got that. Let's kill this cannon here. Okay, what is left? Um, where is this guy? He's got to be low on health now, yep. You do not want to accidentally kamikaze him. It would be bad. There's another one. Okay, so it looks like... Good work. Now, let's see if we can destroy anything to get upgrades. Yes, we can! We got missiles. Awesome. Now, these are not guided, but they do a lot of damage. Especially useful against buildings. Okay, so we will, I guess, land our plane on the aircraft carrier, which is over here. The good news is with this game is that these levels are fairly short, uh, so I can do several of them and still get away with fin In fact, I could probably finish the theme and get away with it being short enough for a lot of you guys there. Okay. And we just landed. Now, you would think that because you landed, they could maybe repair the plane or rearm it or something like that. Nope. It's actually going to go the next mission uh, with the same health. In the same amount of equipment as it was last mission. A bizarre choice, but well, here we are. Okay, but we did get some missiles though, which is useful. Now you do get a times two bonus if you do make it in part time, so if you're in for the high score, that is a good thing. Okay, so we just killed a battleship by shooting it with enough machine gun fire. I think maybe a few Crazy Jacks hit it as well, which would have helped a good deal. Ooh, what's this? More missiles. And more rockets. Awesome. So these things are going to do a lot. We're going to fire them a lot faster, if I remember correctly. Okay, we can take out that, take out that. Now what? It, ooh. Oh yeah, I love these things. These are glow guns. Well, what's what's a glow gun, you ask? One of my favorite guns in the entire game to use. And you can, of course, swap things out if you want. Um, ah! 
<laughs> so apparently we are turning into I don't know I can't explain this you guys try but these things do a lot more damage and you can upgrade them of course like every other weapon in this game except for these special ones that you just get ammo for okay so let's try to avoid the kamikaze planes Ooh, more crazy jacks. Let's see. And more torpedoes. Good. Okay, so that torpedo is most likely going to hit. There we go. Now, one of the issues with these guys is that they can actually... Whoa, that must be a heavy bomber I'm hearing. Let's, let's avoid the kamikaze planes. Come on. I say that because they do like to ram you because of how simplistic the AI can be. In fact, that's the only real threat that these planes have ever posed to me in this game. That's how... S the ground AA poses a bigger threat, at least as far as their uh, weapons are concerned. That's how simplistic the AI it can be with the aircraft. But you know what? It still works fine because this is a lot more entertaining than it should be. And I am playing this, by the way, on the highest difficulty, which is Ace, naturally. I love it when they named the difficulties after me. Okay, so we'll just start wrecking parts of their base here. So we did quite a bit of a number on them, I'd say. Let's see what else we can take out. We do have to take out as many of these planes as we can, naturally, but... Ooh, cluster missiles. These are going to be useful, I think. Uh... And since we killed enough stuff, we, of course, gained an extra life. I'm not entirely sure when it happened, but it happened, so awesome. Now, the music is supposed to play, by the way, in this game consistently, but since... I don't know, I, it's got the same bug that uh, Codename Eagle had, so... Better find out what's wrong with it. Okay, so we can continue on. Let's go to Mission 4. Just go ahead and ignore the uh, briefing is what I'd say, because do you really need that much of a briefing with a game like this? I mean, to be fair. Okay, so let's see if there's any goodies in here. We did what? Whoa, that was way too close. Okay, so... Whoa! <sighs> I hate these planes sometimes. Health, thank goodness I needed that. <laughs> and that's another thing. They can cause you to crash into the ground. Now, the good news is you don't lose all of your power-ups, but you lose a tier of the power-ups. So, you'll see the missiles, for example, are at tier 2. Um, if I died, they would be at tier 1, and the glow guns would disappear completely, so I'd be stuck with machine guns. Now, good news is it only impacts the tiers that you're act the uh, stuff that you're actively equipped with at that time. So, there is that. Okay, so we got that guy. Alright, so let's see what we've got to... Oh, we've got at least three planes here. Now you can, I showed at the very beginning of this, of course, trick them to fly into the scenery, causing them to crash. Not sure if you still get the points or not, but... 
Ooh, we got level three crazy jacks now. Awesome. Whoa! What is it with these planes and wanting to crash into me? All right, is there any more stuff that I can get from these guys upgrade-wise? Health, maybe, please. <laughs> I don't enjoy the idea of going into these guys with half health when they'll try to shave it off of me by flying into me. Now, unfortunately, these missiles do have a limited range. Ooh. Got two of them. And, ooh, bombers in the air. Well, this will be easy. Now the plane, this plane here is probably going to try attacking me right away. I took out a little bit of health, but not much. And these planes are going to go down so easy since I've got some really good stuff here for them. Alright, this is turning into... This is turning into a turkey shoot, isn't it? Well, with those bombers down and me back up pretty high on health, all I have to do now is take out these guys, make sure none of them crash into me. That's one of them down. I'm pretty sure they're self-aware about how cheap this game actually is. Okay. So one more mission, and then the boss battle. The boss battle, assuming I don't screw it up, should be pretty easy. Especially since I've got nine cluster missiles. Whoa. Apparently I, I, apparently I uh, reached the ceiling of the level there. So let's just run these things. And that's what the cluster missiles do. I've got plenty to spare, so why not? I hate it. I hate that sound because that means that there's that bad things can easily happen. Okay, so nothing of note there. Not I've seen, anyways. There are enemies, by the way, that can one-shot you, even at full health, which is very unfortunate and annoying. Ooh, glow gun, glow gun level twos. Awesome. I'll have some glow gun level twos. What other goodies are here? More health. I like the sound of that. And bomb. Okay. I'll take that, too. Let's see if there was any upgrades out of all that. Here, well, these lighthouses a lot of times do have them, so I usually like to prioritize those just for the sake of it. Alright, well, I don't think there is anything left, but... Never hurts to check, really. Alright. Got this guy down. Good. And that's that level taken care of. Now, time for the boss battle. And this should be pretty quick and easy with the setup that I've got right now. Eh, short mission. Okay, good. Good, that means the let's play will be short then. Okay, so... We've got Yamashita's tank. Now, there was an actual Yamashita, if I remember correctly, but he was it was mostly in China, if I remember correctly. Okay, so we took out most of him in that one go. And that is that boss defeated. An easy boss, so long as you dodge him. So with that... This has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon next time. Take care. Ace out.